Good morning, everybody. Another snowy Canadian cold minus 26 Northern Ontario day. Today I want to do something different with you guys. I have to run into town and I always preach about changing our route and going through town. So we're doing, you know, 50 or 60 kilometers an hour and we go a lot further. Today, just for giggles, we're going to take the highway. I'm going to do 110 into town go to uh, the two places where I'm picking up some supplies and things and then we're going to take the highway back 110 kilometers an hour home and we're going to see how many kilometers we get. Um, I don't normally like to do this test but we've never done it in 11 months but I'm going to show you guys how much that drains the battery. I'm betting we're not even going to get you we're going to be around 20 kilometers maybe less. I'm not entirely sure because I don't drive like that but let's take it and find out. So before we set off, I'll just give you guys a baseline because some of you don't watch all of the movies, but in winter conditions like this, we've done many tests and we know that the battery with no heat on, we won't run the heat today, we're going to get 33 kilometers uh, average driving. That's going through town 50, 60 kilometers an hour, no heat, winter rough, crummy road conditions with a bit of snow and all that stuff, winter tires, 33 kilometers is what we can get out of my battery driving in those conditions. So that's our baseline and that's what we're going to compare today's 110 kilometer test to. It helps if you're going to start the car to actually put a key in your pocket before you get in the car. <laughs> and we'll just check the dog here just because uh, I'm trying to find out how many days it, it takes exactly to lose my 0 0.1 amp hours that I'm losing. And uh, 33.7 amp hours current state of charge here and so we have not lost uh, 0 0.1 since the last video and uh, 97.4% I like I said I don't know why that never hits a hundred anymore and uh, our capacity is 91.1 34.6 amp hours gasometer is showing 31 kilometers so for this test we've got uh, three and a half kilometers till we hit the highway 15 kilometers on the highway to get into town then we're gonna drive around town and do our chores and whatnot and then hit the highway for another 15 kilometers home and we'll see if we can make it doing 110 kilometers. Uh, to do that I'm gonna have to change my driving style. I have strapped a brick on the bottom of my right shoe here and I am gonna be the Toronto aggressive northern get out of my way we're going. So let's see what kind of damage we can do to our kilowatt hour usage. And just before we get to the highway here, I've got some trailering numbers for you guys. I went uh, trout fishing the other day, actually did really well, had a beautiful day on the lake. The video is on the channel, caught some really nice speckled trout. And I've got towing numbers from about 70 kilometers, something like that. So why don't you guys check that out right now. So the roads are absolutely terrible today. Everything is melting and uh, there's three or four inches of ice and slush on the roads and holes everywhere very rough but I've got some towing data for you guys so you can see I've got the uh, new snow machine on the trailer back there and the otter sled and all my fishing gear and we're just getting back 50 kilometers on the highway and 20 kilometers on back roads like this so I'll show you guys the towing data numbers. Just pulling in the driveway right here. I'll also mention that uh, we were four wheel drive lock. So I had it locked in four wheel drive just because the roads were so crummy today. 72 kilometers exactly. And there's the eco information, 9.4 liters per 100 kilometers, 44% of our trip, we did leave on a full charge this morning, and 27.4 kilowatt hours. Also, just to note that uh, I will be out of the country for the next nine days, so there won't be any new videos coming up on the channel, so I apologize for that, guys, but I'm doing my best to get one more in there for you today, and uh, uh, on a, another note, I will be doing a collaboration with Andy from Australia. We're going to do a live stream and discuss his side of the world versus mine. Maybe give you guys some tips for hot versus cold driving, answer all your questions, and just hang out online. So that will be when I get home. Wow, I didn't know the PHEV would actually do 110. 
Okay, so we'll just lock the cruise on there. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it before, but I do not use the cruise in this vehicle for the simple fact that it won't allow you to go down to B0 level. So I don't like that. Um, it goes to B2 and it's just not efficient. So I never use the cruise in this vehicle. It's, it's unfortunate. Come on, move it or lose it. Do a 90 in the 100, come on. There's another reason I don't drive like that, and today is a great example. Coming into the uh, first set of lights in town here, um, I still drive sensibly and slowed down 400 yards early. Well, thank God, because there was a stretch of black ice back there, and that is the first time I've ever felt the AVS kick on on this uh, car here, and it actually scared me. <laughs> you couldn't see anything, but it's just so wet out there, and um, it was freezing rain yesterday, so... Whew, I don't know how people drive like this every day. Like, I just, for winter... Ah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not joking there. My heart is still pounding. I just hit a, a good stretch of 100 yards of black ice there. And the, the car just started to spin out. And uh, the ABS kicked on. Luckily, I mean, uh, stayed in my own lane and everything like that. But that was scary. You do not see that coming. It just looks like clear pavement. You know, so I'm doing this test and I feel like I'm being extreme doing 110. Really, I am being extreme. The speed limit on the highway is 100, but everybody does 110. I've got four cars lined up right behind me. You know, if I was doing anything less today, they would have passed me. So it just shows you, you know, <sighs> we've got the best winter tires money can buy right now in a brand new vehicle with good brakes, ABS system, uh, traction control system everything like that and it was all this vehicle could do to stay in its own lane there when I hit that ice so you just don't mess around guys don't mess around drive according to the conditions so you can see the highways were nice and clear um, but in town here not so much there's lots of snow lots of patches that are uh, it's not cleared at all so on the back of his vehicle here it says Mitsubishi Outlander but it's not a real Outlander, as I tell the kids. If it's not a PHEV, then just like a Subaru without a turbo is not a real Subaru. Well, they're trying to clear the streets. That's a good thing. Can't keep up with it up here in the north. It's an every day, sometimes twice a day process. Okay, so we're just gonna head back to the highway now. I'm done my running around, but I wanted to show you there's a house here in North Bay. He's kind of a crazy guy. He has stuff mounted all over the outside of his house. He's, he's renowned throughout Northern Ontario. He's got like a skidoo. And he changes it up for Halloween and stuff. It's, it's kind of a nightmare. I'll show you guys this guy's place. So that's the side of his house. And he, he has all these things built right onto the side. And he puts lights. And depending on whatever holiday is coming. Look at this thing. It's crazy. He's had it out with City Hall like six times over, I guess, with his neighbors, how messy it looks and whatnot, but it's really weird. <laughs> anyway, we are at the entrance uh, to get back on the highway, and we've come 20 kilometers, and the gasometer is still showing 15, so I was like, what is going on here? And I looked at the eco information, at some point, the engine must have kicked on here and I never noticed. I don't know why that would have been. We were in EV mode the whole time, but hey, it's winter and it did kick on. So we'll just have to take that into our calculations. Ah, oh, I forgot about that. So when we put the cruise on, it turns EV mode off. So maybe now at some point the engine started when we were coming into town, when the EV mode got shut off because of the cruise. So I'm just gonna watch this and see if the engine actually starts here when we're on the highway. That's, that's what must have happened, guys. On the way into town, at some point up here on the highway, the engine started and I never noticed. And that's because of that stupid cruise control. 
it shuts off EV mode. I don't know how people can do this all winter, just driving like maniacs. I don't feel right, <laughs> but we've got the cruise locked on 110 and we're finishing this test. So we're doing 110 and we are about to be passed here. Okay, 33 kilometers, so that means 13 kilometers on the highway. And the gasometer is showing zero. We're about to run out of energy. So I'm actually surprised that the engine started just over 33 kilometers. I'm actually surprised. I'm really surprised guys. 26 kilometers on the highway doing 110 and we still got 33 kilometers uh, out of the battery. That I, I never would have guessed that. That's why I do these tests. So um, is that an anomaly? Um, what just happened there? We still got the same average that I get uh, going through town and stuff. Uh, so <laughs> I'm pleasantly surprised. I guess we have to keep in mind that the engine did start there. So we did gain a couple of kilometers back for the engine running. So we didn't really get our same 33, um, but it was pretty close, pretty darn close. So I don't know how to preface this, guys. I was gonna put up a nice little diagram showing the percentage that we lost from doing the extra speed on the highway, but we didn't lose that much range, a couple of kilometers. So um, I guess we're gonna have to do more testing where we actually set up a route and do it at 80 and then do the same route at 110. When the highways are a little clearer, we'll do that and we'll see exactly uh, what the difference is. But you'll just have to take my word for it, of course, the faster you go, the harder you go, the more energy you're going to use. So let's just take a look at the final numbers. Uh, we're not home yet, uh, but I'll show you guys the numbers uh, on the dash. There's what we get from our 110 kilometer highway test. I was hoping to do that 100% in EV, but uh, that didn't work out. So there you go, 26 kilowatt hours basically. In comparison, my normal winter running, uh, the other route through town where we don't go on the highway and I don't use heat, I'm usually around 21 kilowatt hours used. So we did use more energy there. Um, the battery was just up for it today. I, I don't know how to explain that. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you in nine days when I'm back in the country and uh, we'll do something with Andy at that point. See you then.